Welcome back to Gothic 3. Last time we were out here killing snappers, just talked to Diego. He probably moves pretty quickly because I can't see him anymore. They said nomads might be around here, might as well look around. I'm sure this is supposed to lead into a quest. What is that, just like a symbol? A character with a line through it? And is that something sleeping, or is that a rock? That is a rock. Almost looked like a shadow beast. Was that a water barrel just sitting up here? Huh. I'll tear you apart. What is he waiting outside of the water barrel? <laughs> I like how far they go flying. I'll tear you apart. Wow, they are weak. Seriously? Yeah, it's almost comical. Take that. What is that? A Hashishin sword? Hopefully it's worth something. I'd hate for it to, you know, just be another crudgel. And I guess those were the raiders they were talking about. Not really that much of a raiding group. Was that ogre leaf he had? Surely it wasn't. Quarter staff. Why a quarter staff? All right, let's go ahead and head back to Braga. I think that's that town. Pretty sure it's Braga, not. Um, let me look it up. Where are we? Right here. Braga. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of something else. Bakaresh. That's the one. Stone nettle. Next to a stone. It makes sense. Might as well kill those jackals on the way back. Though I'm not excited about it. I hate wolves. They're hard to kite. Hopefully I can just, you know, depend on the flat-out damage. Of, you know, our attacks. So I don't have to kite them. These enemies seem to be shockingly weak so far. They are definitely not this way in Nordmar. Nordmar is actually difficult. Cactus flower. What does a cactus flower do? I'll have to look that up. A lot of plants. Alright, cactus flower. It'd be up here. Endurance plus eight comes from Varent. Good description. I wonder if you can use that in a potion. Surely you can, because they wouldn't just have a, you know, plus eight endurance item sitting around. That's worthless. What do I have, like 200 endurance? Now, is that the chest in Varent? Is these pots? I'm trying to remember exactly how Varent is set up. Yeah, baskets jewelry. Just a red piece of jewelry. There's a chest, or a chest, a cave. Let's see what's in this cave. I'm up for exploring right now. Are these raiders? Just you wait, boy. Boy. <laughs> what's up with boy? <coughs> really? That hit me? Stop right there. Ow! 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 
Wow, I can just hack and slash away at these guys. It's a nice change of pace. Where's the guy with the bow? I think it helps to just sort of go crazy at the beginning and then sort of slow down. And I know I I completed a quest here. I'm trying to think if I if I did something out of order in a bad way. There's something tied to an escort quest here, if I remember right. Hmm. Well, we'll see if I did it wrong. Might as well cook up some of the all that meat that I have. Okay, that is ogre leaf. Two bundles of weapons, or three. Still not enough for that one quest. Was it like twenty? A chalice, just a normal chalice. And the name guy didn't have anything, I take it? Nah, he didn't have anything. Alright, let's cook up some of this meat. I like how he puts a cooked piece of meat on the stick, you know? Uh, what do we have, 82? I think it'd be a safe bet to cook up 30. That'd leave 50. 50 is a normal increment, I think, for turn-in quests for, you know, like, we need meat example would be in uh, the capital. I think they need like hammers or something silly like that too. Bread. It was bread. Pretty sure it was bread in uh, whatever the capital is. I forgot the name. Lizard. Is that a fire lizard? No, it's just a normal lizard. <coughs> Don't you don't do that. Lizard tongue. Don't eat it. What do you do with it then? What is the purpose of a lizard tongue? Why wouldn't you take the meat? A jackal. Now I remember what what's the deal here. Everything is just sort of uh, stuck in these little corridors of these ruins. And there's a lot of these ruins, if I remember right. Just a ton of them with orcs. Something like that. Have we looked through here? I'm expecting to see another basket sitting around somewhere. At least the jackals seem to be one at a time. Might as well quick save. Eat some meat. Nothing like some roast meat when you're out in the desert. I think we can just hack and slash. <clears throat> nope. We can't <clears throat> hack and slash. Just have to time it a bit. Just a bit. <clears throat> so, I knew that one hit. Nope. One more. Okay, so it's one hit kill if you hit them like with a slash, but the uh, sort of jab attacks when you have a block down, like the, you know, these attacks with the right button. I'm trying to figure out how we can take on these guys without taking that much damage. I mean, it's one thing just to be too cautious, it's, it's another thing to be sloppy. Like that. What are we getting from these guys? Normal teeth, probably. Teeth, no doubt. 
and jackal skin. Stinky and worthless. <laughs> All right. Ah, good old eight coins. Those have a lot of value. Who sticks a basket out here with just eight coins in it? Where's that meat? The jackals aren't dropping meat, right? No, they're not dropping meat. What is there out here that drops meat, then? Because we'll need to have some meat supply. Back in Murtane was the Ripper Beasts. Well, where are you going? I don't think there's really anything in these ruins, honestly. Just stuff to kill and barely anything to be made. And we might as well clear them out now than later. Though there's a lot of them. Yeah, I think these ruins are to uh, Varent as the sort of burned down houses and rotting houses were to Murtana. Because you get out there far enough, like s south enough towards Ishtar, and I think it's just rolling deserts with some snappers and some orcs scattered around. And I'm not going to clear out those, I'm going to head back to Braga. Finish talking to people. We didn't even finish talking to everyone. Quick save real fast. Nice lag greets us. Not sure why I'm heading back here. I just want to see what was upstairs. Who's in here? I'm not saying this again. Get out. All right. He doesn't have anything more to say. Uh, Bernardo. I've come to get your tribute. So, to fail also said that some time ago, and I trusted him with my gold. And what did he do? He let a handful of nomads take it away from him. Does that mean you don't want to pay? That's the way it is, stranger. I already paid, and I won't pay another coin. I guess I'll have to beat the tribute out of you. You can try it. You are no challenge for me. Hey, folks! Uh -huh. There's a fight! Uh -huh. <coughs> and there we go, the teleporter stone. And a bundle of weapons. Always good. I'm trying to figure out what the water barrels do. They, do they heal you? Do they... Yeah, I guess they heal you just a bit. What does he have in his hand? What is that, a burnt hat? Uh, I, shall win the I think it's a piece fight. of meat. It doesn't look like it. Put yeah. down your weapon! How about it? Will you pay now? You leave me no choice, father of heavy blows. <laughs> father of heavy blows, huh. And let's just go in these houses and see what there is. I'm not stealing anything. I already made that mistake once. There's Jose, or however Welcome, it's pronounced. Welcome, traveler. I hope you leave some of your luck with us. I am Jose, the slave trader. He said it normally. If you are interested in work, I have got something for you. I have come to collect your tribute. Of course I will pay. Give my compliments to Nafalem. What do you have to offer me? The nomads keep attacking us. Several tribes are wreaking havoc around here. 
I will pay you a hefty bounty for each tribe leader that you kill. Who are the tribe leaders? Malir and Taklar are the leaders of these bands of raiders. They are ambushing travelers in the ruins. They are the same ones who attacked Tufail and stole our tribute. We have not seen hide nor hair of Asaru's tribe in a while. That is the way those nomads are. You never know where the bastards are hanging out. What do you know about Isla? Isla? She was the flower of Braga. What happened? It was a raid. Asaru and his tribe simply stole her away. No wonder they are no longer in the area. We're talking She's about probably a pearl, sitting right? in his camp right now, like a, watching her dance. An actual pearl? Son of a scoundrel. I'm not sure. I thought we were talking about a pearl. I took care of Malor. I bow to your bravery, son of Peril. Take this gold as a reward for your deed. And the hefty bounty is 300 gold. Hmm. Better not spend it all in one place. Anything in here? Candidate. You had better not disturb me. Hey, welcome to Braga. I am Luca. Do you have anything to sell? I am inconsolable, but I cannot offer you any armor. All the hunters who worked for me are dead. They were caught in a nomad ambush. Maybe you should try the next city. Where is the next city? Benarai is to the east. Sancho holds the mining village tightly in his grip. There's always something to do there. And if you're tough enough, you could also try making your way to Morosul. The great slave fortress lies south of here. But the way is very perilous. I have come to demand your tribute. Looks like you've come in vain, then. I haven't got a single coin. That's not my problem. Wait, let me propose you a deal. Like what? Bring me some dark leather, and I can make some armor for you. And in exchange, you want me to pay the tribute for you? I don't owe Zuban all that much, only 500 gold coins. Armor made by me is worth much more than that. I suppose I have no choice. All right, I agree. Thank you, son of judiciousness. You've struck a good bargain. Here's the leather. I found some more armor in the camp. You can have it. May it protect you well at all times. You know what this game needs? Heavy anti-aliasing. I wish I could get that to work without crashing the FPS. Okay, is it really that bad? Please don't say it's that bad. Wait. Is this what he gave me right here? Oh, okay, this is the new one. I get it gives me resistance to heat and it is slightly worse than what I'm wearing right now. Whatever. I'm a hushishan. Wish there was a way to look at your character from the front. Oh. There we go. Okay, that's just stupid. But I do see a bookshelf. And Eno spoke to his servants. Erect a portal for me, so that I might reign over this world in all eternity. And his servants did as they were bidden. We're getting a lot of ancient knowledge. I can't remember what it is they need for uh, the learning skill or whatever for the, with the water mages. I'm not even sure if it's worth it at this point. 36, probably have, if we're lucky, 50 more levels left. Might as well quick save while we're here. Actually, I might as well just end the episode here. I, I think I'm going to do that. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time.